Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to randomize Gen 6 and Gen 7 Pokemon games on your computer. That is the Pokemon 3DS games so that you can play them on Citra. Now before we start, this tutorial is going to assume that you already have your games dumped onto your PC and have the game in the .3DS or .CIA format. If you haven't got that, there's a link to a description to tutorial telling you how to dump your games and get them in the correct format. Now, you're going to need two pieces of software for this tutorial. You're going to need the Hacking Toolkit version 9, that's the most stable version and you're going to need PK3DS. There are download links to both of those in the description so once you have those download come back and uh, we'll get straight into it. All right now that you've got those downloaded let's get straight into it. Step number one you're going to want to make a clean folder on your desktop. Uh, I'm going to call this folder to randomize it doesn't really matter what you guys call it. Folder to randomize. There we go and the first thing you want to do is get your um, get your folder open and get your uh, version 9 um, hack hacking toolkit done you're going to want to use the setup and you want to move the hacking toolkit into your empty folder next you're going to want to get your rom i have a clean version of alpha sapphire here and i'm going to drag that into there as well um, so now we have the rom and the hacking toolkit in an empty folder this is important you want to make sure that your rom is called something simple uh, with no special characters and no spaces in it next you want to want to run your hacking toolkit and depending on whether your folder is in .3ds for, uh, format or .cia format, you're gonna wanna run this properly. So we're gonna extract a 3ds. So I'm gonna press D. If you have a CIA file, you're gonna wanna extract that using CE. So we're gonna run that, and then you're gonna wanna type in the name of your folder, uh, your file. This is why we've named it something simple. I've just called it Alpha Sapphire. And then once that starts running, you're gonna wanna uh, it doesn't matter whether you want to uh, decompress, I'm going to press no. And then that is going to start extracting. This can take a while, um, so I'm going to cut back once this is done and I'll show you what your folder should look like once the extraction is done. All right, mine has completed. The uh, hacking toolkit should look something like this and your folder should look a little bit something like this. You are going to need to make sure that you have all three folders at the top here, extracted banner, extracted EXEFS and extracted ROMFS. Uh, now once you have done that you can minimize these and you can go into your PK3DS app. So you want to go through this, you want to go through all these folders and launch the application itself. And then you're going to want to load in that folder that we have just randomized in. So mine is folder to randomize, you just open that. Open that folder in PK3DS and there we go. Now we can get to randomizing our, uh, our ROM. So the, the one thing that most people want to do is randomize wild encounters, that is this tab right here. You just click on this. It'll open up a separate little uh, window inside the PK3DS app, and then you can go to randomizing it. Uh, let me just, it does take a little while. Wild Encounters is the one that takes the longest to randomize um, because there's obviously lots of different Wild Encounters. Uh, so you want to go into Horde. This is where you set up all the settings for, uh, for the randomization. Um, so you can increase the levels here. Uh, you can uh, set up how, what generation Pokemon are from. So if you only want to do like a Gen 1 but in Alpha Sapphire, you can unselect all of these. Uh, set whether you want legends to spawn etc etc uh, so you can randomize that and then if you want to go into starters and static encounters you've got to go into exefs uh, you can change your you know your level up moves here you can change mega revolutions if you want uh, trainer pokemon all that kind of stuff personal stats if you want to do abilities you need to go into the personal stats um, and click on enhancements and then click on randomize abilities. Where is randomize abilities? There it is. So you want to make sure that is checked if you want to have random abilities, otherwise it won't do that. Um, so yeah, that's the Pokemon. If you want to do the starters, you go into, uh, so you go into CRO, click on starter Pokemon. You just press yes to this. Um, if you're gonna port it back to your 3DS, you need to make sure you do follow that. And then you want to, this is where you check the settings for your starter Pokemon. You wanna, if you want to keep it same gen, you can click that. Basic Pokemon, if you want Legends, we click these. Um, if you don't want basic starter Pokemon, if you want to have fully evolved Pokemon possible as starters, you uncheck that box. And then you press randomize. And then you press yes if you want to uh, hide the randomization. There we go. So starters are now randomized. Uh, once it you know loads in that now that we have randomized the next step is to rebuild our ROM But before we get into that sometimes the randomizer can cause a little bug with one of the files in the extracted EXEFS folder So we're going to double click that and open it up and see it's happened to me right here The code.bin uh, file does sometimes get renamed to .code.bin 
and uh, this will totally mess up your ROM. It won't, when it rebuilds, it won't rebuild properly. So what you wanna do is you wanna rename that folder and just get rid of the dot at the beginning of this name. Um, so it's just code.bin uh, and that just totally fixes it. If you're having problems with randomization and uh, uh, the ROM not running at all, like Citra or whatever emulator just instantly crashing, it's because of that. You need to delete that co uh, the dot at the beginning of code. But once that is done, now you can rebuild. To rebuild, we open up that folder again, the folder to randomize. Uh, oops, and then we open up the hacking toolkit. And then we press R for rebuild or CR for rebuild if you've got a CIA file. So we got R. We type in the name. So I'm going to just do AS random. Again, you don't want any special characters uh, and you don't want any spaces in there. So we're just going to press AR random and it rebuilds it for us. And I'm going to go come straight back to you guys once it's done. It takes a little while, just like the extraction. But once it's done, I will show you what you should have. All right, once your, uh, once your 3DS toolkit is done, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. You will have your folder, AS random, uh, sorry, your ROM, AS random underscore edited. That is your complete ROM. You can see it's a little bit bigger than my uh, original Alpha Sapphire ROM. But now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you take any complete ROMs, any non-extracted uh, ROMs, and move them away from this folder. So you want to click and drag them into a different folder because now you want to make sure your folder to randomize stays clean. So this is where you go into your pack version nine uh, hacking toolkit, pack hack. This is where you take the clean tool, move it to your folder and use the clean tool. This will delete everything. Uh, look, all those files are gonna get deleted. So this is why you wanna make sure that your complete ROMs, your clean ROM and the randomized ROM are out of the folder before you clean it. And then once you've, well, once you've cleaned it, it will delete everything that isn't hacking toolkit. And of course, uh, we're going to allow the app to go in there because uh, it yeah I mean you want to make sure that uh, yeah you allow all these things to go through so that's what the clean tool does it just makes sure that the uh, the folder gets cleaned up properly so you can keep randomizing in the same folder but that should be it you should now have a randomized ROM a clean ROM and you should be able to go through and do this with any um, version uh, any gen 6 or gen 7 games Alpha Sapphire Pokemon X Pokemon Y uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Sun, Moon, they should all be able to be randomized through this method. Now, if you have any problems, give me a comment down below and I'll see if I can answer them. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more Pokemon content. Until next time guys, see you around. Goodbye.